Hi and welcome to the Mustard Bikes Garage. My name is Mark and this is Triumph's 2019 Speed Twin. We're going to show you how to fit one of our fender eliminators from start to finish. So let's get started and get some tools together. You're going to need a 3mm Allen key, a 4mm Allen key, a 10mm socket or spanner, an 8mm spanner, a small screwdriver, flat blade, and a pair of side cutters or scissors. In the box, you'll find the fender illuminator with an LED bolt already attached and a small bag with a bolt, a nut and a cable tie in it. The first step for removing the original fender is to take your key and remove the rider seat. Next, we're going to remove these two bolts holding on the rear fender. We're going to do that using our 8mm spanner to hold at the top and our 10mm socket or spanner to undo these two nuts at the bottom. Now we can take this last bolt out, but to do that we're going to have to take our 8mm spanner and slide it under the frame rail so that we can hold the bolt while we undo the nut below it. Now as we take this nut off, the fender is going to come loose from the bike, so it's going to drop down with you. So just be careful when you do that, that you hold onto it and don't let it fall to the ground. And you'll also see just there that a spacer fell out. So we need to hold onto that because we'll be putting that back later on. Taking a small flat blade screwdriver or similar, we undo this plug here, which then completely removes the stock fender from the bike. We can then take this and disassemble it so that we can reassemble it with the fender eliminator attached. To disassemble the rear fender, we need our 3mm Allen key. And we're going to start by removing these five bolts here. With those removed, we can take this little panel out. Next, we need to remove these four bolts here that hold on the top part of the rear fender. With the bolts removed, we can separate these two parts. We're going to hold on to this part because we're going to fit the fender eliminator to that later. Mm -hmm. We're going to start by taking the small cable tie that came in your kit and running it through this little hole here. We're going to take the wire for the LED bolt, run that through it and just tighten that up. We can then take our side cutters or a pair of scissors and just trim the end off that little cable tie. That's then ready to fit to this part of the bracket. The two go together like such and we're going to use two of the original bolts which we've got here to bolt it to the original bracket. So we're just going to start by feeding them in through the holes and getting them started. We then take out a three millimeter Allen key and just do them up till they're not quite tight. So there's still a little bit of movement in the part. We're then going to take the 12mm bolt that was supplied in the kit and put it through this hole here and take the M6 nut and sit that on the top of the bolt. And then just like the other two bolts, we're going to do that up 
till it's almost tight. So now we're just going to check that this part here is aligned and relatively straight. Make sure that nothing's untoward. Then we can do these last few bolts up. So just do them up nice and firm. Same again with this last one. And that assembly is then ready to refit to the bike. To fit the fender eliminator, we're just going to rest it on the back wheel here for a second while we plug in the plug into the original plug on the bike. Then they're going to take one of the original nuts. We're just going to hang it off these two bolts up the back here where it was originally bolted up. So we're just going to slide that on there and then just get that nut and put it on the bolt just so that it can hang there. We'll do that to both sides. We're then just going to make sure that this cable here is out of the way. That's not going to get crimped under anything. Next we're going to slide this spacer that fell out earlier up over the bolt. Sit that in place. Then we'll take our 8mm spanner again through the top here so we can hold that bolt. And then just being careful that we don't pinch this wire, we're going to lift this up. Align that hole with the bolt and then take that nut and thread the nut onto the bolt. This is probably the trickiest bit of this whole installation. So that done, again just quickly check that that cable's not getting crimped anywhere and we can start doing these nuts up with our 10mm spanner or socket. So we'll just do one last check, make sure they're all tight. With the fender eliminator fitted, we can now refit the rider's seat. All that's left is to refit your number plate and just quickly turn on the ignition as well to check that your number plate light is lighting up correctly. Once you've gone for a few rides, it's worth quickly going over everything and just checking that all the nuts and bolts are still nice and tight. So we hope that this video has helped you with a nice hassle-free installation and of course, we'd love to see how you went. So don't forget to tag us on your Instagram photos Join us on Instagram or Facebook, and if you haven't yet purchased the product, you can do so from our website at mustardbikes.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.